It's bigger than just what happens on the pitch, and that means being part of a club, being part of a team. And playing for, for a team that has such a huge history. I can't imagine my life without playing football. I've played like, ever since I was six years old with my twin brother. For me, it's always been like more of a hobby, but I, I love it for that. I thought I would be mainly focusing on my studies and um, to be quite honest with you, I, I was a bit afraid that um, I would have to leave sort of my competitive football um, aspirations behind, but it turns out that's not the case. Um, we have, I think, three to four sessions per week with a match on Wednesdays and yeah, in terms of competitiveness, this is as good as it can get. Just being able to, you know, play at different, against different universities, represent our university, just go and tour around the countries, you know, in the minibus, play our music, have a little bit of fun. So we had a trip to Miami, we met some alumni there and it was, it was amazing. It was a trip that I wouldn't have gotten a chance to go to had I not been part of the club. It's always easy to find people who want to come and play. Yeah, it's just like to have this kind of big field right, right next to our accommodation is such a, such a, uh, a lucky thing, yeah, and Homerton are great at kind of providing us with goals and they draw on the lines on the grass and yeah, so they really kind of make it something that is easy for us to, to do. The groundsmen take really good care of the grass and so, um, for example, it was raining heavily like three days ago, but you're still able to play a match on Wednesday because, you know, they take care of the pitches. When I came to trials, I hadn't been playing solid football for a while now. I'd been doing football on and off for a couple of years. And coming here and seeing the number of boys who were at the trial, it was kind of daunting. There are about three different trials and then after the trials was a training session. But even though it was intense and you could see that there was a high standard, the team was really welcoming. So the transition from like starting, just starting university and coming into a new team was really good for me. So I started playing football in Germany as a as a young boy, then moved to Nigeria where I played for my secondary school. And after leaving Nigeria, we, we returned to Germany where I started playing for a team called SC Paderborn, which was a semi-professional, professional team. The trials is open to everyone, and if you feel like you could be part of the team, then you can try it out, definitely try it out. If it doesn't work out, then there's always college football. There's lots of levels of uh, football at Cambridge. We've got a first, a second and a fourth team. Um, and. Going, the fourth team is uh, it's really great fun. It's, we, have, uh, we even have a manager, this guy called Sasha, and he's very kind of dedicated to it. And actually, it, funnily enough, gets the biggest turnout. Um, loads of people come down to play for the fourths, um, and it's always really funny and kind of, yeah, really good fun. <laughs> You're trying too many tricks with the camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm on. It is quite useful to sort of get away from, from the library, get away from your desks, and just sort of try and, and, and free your mind. It's kind of counterintuitive because you expect having a massive commitment to affect your studies, but it sort of kind of forces you to be disciplined and get my work done when it needs to get done so that I'm able to go to training and attend matches without, you know, the stresses of, oh, I haven't done this or I need to do that. Basically find time whenever you can, normally for about 45 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's just a great way to kind of relax, hang out with your friends and kind of, yeah, do a bit of exercise at the same time, it's great. I just hope that I can play as long as I can, play with people from, from different countries, from different cities. It doesn't even have to be competitively, as long as I'm playing just friendlies or just doing something active. I don't think football is something I'd ever stop after university. Two, three, three. Let's go! Hi guys, I'm Kossi and I'm a men's co-president this year. If you want to see both teams in action, then come down next month on Sunday the 13th of March where both men's and women's varsity matches will be happening at the Abbey Stadium, Cambridge. Bring your friends, bring your family, and I'll see you there.